That reminds me of that shoe in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. <laughs> I'm struggling. I can only ever remember Jessica Rabbit. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> it's hard to remember anything else. She 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 did take up a lot of the screen. <laughs> I only remember the the fighting bullets. KJ, you on fire? No, it was I accidentally blew out the birthday candle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a wish? You're on fire tonight. <laughs> Not intentionally, so let's see what happens. <laughs> My subconscious might have made one. Who knows? Are we in half pint territory yet? Are we there? We started. That depends if Horus <laughs> fixes his drink or not. Yeah, the drink is good, and now I'm. Uh... Getting ready for whatever punishment that is uh, going my <laughs> way. Dun, 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 dun. I, I, have, I have a sneaking suspicion, but <laughs> what right. do you think it is? Let's let's see. If you have a <laughs> Don't answer that as you are telling me. I advise you not to answer that. Yeah, I'm not let's in, see what you're admitting to. <laughs> I'm not incriminating myself. That's uh, <laughs> too smart for that. <laughs> so, Scarpa Festival, and guys. Yes. yes. Yeah, we spoke about editing and. Scarpa Festival and whatnot, and that is in October when we go to Scarpa Festival, and we're going to be doing a live episode. So we've no need for editing there. That's a plus, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's a plus. So we, yeah, so we got the invite last week, didn't we? To uh, attend and do a live show. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we, we got. Yes. Uh, to be fair, we we got a heads up at the uh, Maker Festival in Birmingham. Um, because we talked to one of the top dogs over at Scott Festival <laughs> and uh, like, yeah, we, we might uh, have a chat later. Well, let's talk about uh, maybe doing a live podcast. And of course, I had a beer. So, yeah, that sounds good. Just uh, let's catch up when we get back home. <laughs> so, yeah. To be really fair, that conversation actually happened during last year's Scopper Festival as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so it's happened a lot of times. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so maybe that's so we... how it works then. <laughs> yeah, so, so I got the message, we got the message last week, officially. The official message, yes. It was yeah. just uh, plans yeah. and hopes and dreams uh, and, and, and lollipops. I, I, and I messaged you two guys and said, this is interesting. I've got a few concerns about it. And Hovar messaged back and said, don't worry, we'll have a chat about it tonight. We'll talk it through. We'll get on we'll have a video call and we'll talk it through. And then what happened, Hovar? <laughs> <laughs> so, sometimes someone just needs to take an executive decision. So I said, we'll be delighted to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah. I mean, there, there is... I mean the the contractual details and the writer is so uh, it, it's it's not uh, all the details yet so uh, yeah there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, we <laughs> <laughs> to be fair we were always going to do it, but <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. But uh, I mean doing doing a live with no possibilities of uh, backsies or uh, <laughs> stop record and <laughs> let's go back again. So yeah, it's a uh, it's definitely going to be a. Uh, a level up in the intensity game. Yeah, it's going to be fun recording in Norwegian as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, didn't we, didn't we mention that, Glenn? Okay, sorry. <laughs> I am absolutely fine with that. <laughs> Just sit there and smile <laughs> and shine in hurdy gurdy yeah. yeah. every hurdy-gurdy. five minutes. <laughs> Gang trap bang. <laughs> yeah, so maybe we should plan for a quiz. What Norwegian words do Glenn remember and know how to pronounce? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. yeah I'm fair. still, I've still not had confirmation if I've got your name right lately or not. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's uh, still uh, in the eighty plus. So. <laughs> Close I'll take enough. That. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's uh, something to look forward to, and hopefully, uh, we'll meet a lot of listeners there and. We will not be podcasting to an empty room, but some of you at least will be there to support us. That would be nice. I'm, I'm all right if it's an empty room. <laughs> yeah, I mean, then it then it would be like any other Tuesdays. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
do you know what would be worse for me? I think is if the three northern makers attend again and they decide to sit and watch it. That would really put the jeebies up me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> They're a proper podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Only that they're like a hundred episodes ahead of us. That's yeah, if it's... you if you don't count count the half pints, that is. Uh... Yeah. So uh, talking about uh, po- the other episodes of the podcast, you teased uh, next week's guest. Yes, we've got international mystery man. <laughs> <laughs> is that his title? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, it's not. Is it? It's John Mason. Yeah. JM Woodcraft Scotland will be joining us next week. Ooh. I'm I mean, uh, really looking forward to this one. It's, um, Scot- it's Scotland pretty... has been known to produce uh, some of the best uh, man of mystery, uh, haven't they? Come on. I mean, it, it's, Sean Connery? It, yeah. <laughs> I mean, <Yes. laughs> it's, it's the one and only James Bond, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I must say this. Sorry, we will get back to the guest. I, I saw uh, me and a friend <laughs> when we were young. We were really into the Highlander movies, and in one of those movies, yeah. you actually have that French guy, or was he Belgian? No, French. French. Uh, and then, of course, you had uh, <laughs> Sean Connery, and Sean Connery played a Spaniard, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, then the, and then the French guy played uh, a Highlander, and like, <laughs> none of them could pull off the other accent, and it's like Sean Connery, like. Oh, so tell me about this uh, country of yours, Scotland. <laughs> Trying to be Spanish. I mean, it's one of the greatest scenes in movie history. Yeah, yeah but yeah, <clears throat> let's get back to the guest. Great movie, though, that. that yeah, is Highlander as a kid. There can yeah, be only one. I, I use that reference every day. <laughs> oh, no, okay, not every day, but... Well, uh, getting back to the guest, some of you all know him from... He's in the Bad Audio podcast. That is across being a really funny guy so yeah looking forward to having him on i've got nothing else to add <laughs> <laughs> apart from he's coming live from dubai actually for our podcast yeah that's gonna be interesting how's the how's the time zone working out that way it's uh you, they are a few hours ahead of us aren't they yeah we're gonna we're gonna start an hour earlier for him so we can get in bed for his podcast will finish at 12 o'clock dubai time <laughs> if we start an hour earlier for him oh yeah but then then it's not that bad so sorry, I don't, I don't feel sorry for you now. It's like no. that's doable. I mean, it's not like when we had fix his fingers on who did a morning recording instead. We were yeah, in the evening. Seven o'clock, it was seven o'clock in the morning for him, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. that was a bit weird, time wise. I'm still, I'm still blown. I know we, we commented on the bird song in episode from here in the summertime, but the bird song in the James's episode was amazing, wasn't it? I mean, it did sound really tropical in the background. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could you could hear Australia <laughs> over the yeah. line. Yeah. <laughs> but that that being said, uh, given the weather we had here today, I mean, I, I could hear Scotland <laughs> from uh, inside the house. <laughs> it's like pissing yeah. down. Yeah, it's been a bit miserable here today. And it was absolute high summer just a couple of days ago, and then it went. Uh, Same November, yeah. <laughs> but we have got nice weather forecast for the weekend again, so that's uh, that's going to be good, hopefully. Yes, same here, and um, I'm going to be home alone with the oldest daughter, so we are going to have a, a blast this weekend. We're going uh, we're going swimming. Uh, I booked a hotel room in Oslo, so we're going there the entire day, going at museums or whatever she fancies, and then we're going to end up. Uh, probably buying ice cream and bringing to the hotel room a little <laughs> Eating bit cake in and bed. <laughs> yeah it's a maker <laughs> maker festival all over again and uh yeah maybe go to the cinema or something and then uh, head back again on sunday so that's uh but and the weather is uh, going to be really nice so we can actually get some uh, last breath of summer i hope nice uh, me and michelle have got a kind of a switcheroo situation on that our daughter's leaving us home alone for the weekend this weekend <laughs> Mm, oh nice. no <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna have a party don't tell her <laughs> <laughs> i invented a lot of blokes over i was like what <laughs> she comes home in a... early <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she is off hiking and camping with school 
for the weekend. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh, Duke of Edinburgh nice. award thing. So yeah, that's that's going to be nice for everybody concerned. <laughs> Very nice. Nice, nice, nice. And you, KJ, any weekend plans? No. Uh, you, yeah, you, yeah, we have plans. So no other plans. Uh, just um, activities for the kids and birthdays and that sort of thing. So I, I plan on not getting anything done. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then I get, might surprise myself and to get something done. But it sounds though <laughs> that we are in the same boat. I, I don't see any of us uh, doing any uh, large advancements in the workshop. I mean, of course, yeah. you, Glenn, you're married to a maker, so that might be your uh, picture of a date night. Like, hey, let's head into the workshop <laughs> and yeah, get some things spinning. <laughs> <laughs> It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> you have a romantic dinner and you sit there and look into each other's eyes and I'm just going to pop off and do a thing. <laughs> and you both disappear into your own, yeah. own areas would and don't so see each other. I so much like to see a real, like a, a romantic candle looking into each other's eyes and then on the table where there's originals and then a spinning <laughs> lady in the back with a mistletoe or something like, come hey, on. Did you, did you spot the words originally in my video? No. Nope. No, again, you missed it. You are too subtle. <laughs> yeah, you need to tape the you need to tape the bag to the spinning uh, chalk or yeah. something like dang, dang, dang. dang. <laughs> hey, if um, if everybody else who watched the video didn't see the word as original, maybe you should all just watch it again. <laughs> I'm the other one if you didn't see it the first time as well. <laughs> Spoiler alert: It's not there. He just wants the views. <laughs> Head of marketing. Yeah. <laughs> this was just him testing us if we had watched this video because, said, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> but no, yeah. you didn't. You it liars. Not <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's it. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I was just about to say on a slightly sad note, I didn't want to um, end this episode without saying some sort of reference to two thirds focused. No, oh, this is going to mention uh, that. Yeah, <laughs> called it a day. Yeah. I thought that was quite sad. Yeah. I missed them on my Monday mornings. <laughs> yeah, it's been a fun listen. And I heard that Clamp podcast is going to uh, pack it in on their, their next episode will be the last as well. So it's it's an yeah. epidemic going through the Maker pod <laughs> for the worse, apparently. Yeah, it's been something I've been meaning to talk to you both about. Well, Discuss it after the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, good riddance, less competition, but oh no, we're going. <laughs> All right, so uh, with that news, there, there might be a spot opening next week. Uh, <laughs> stand by and... Uh, <laughs> Are you going to start a new podcast? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I find it's, it's not you, it's me. I find someone else and then... <laughs> We know him. <laughs> um, Who would you have? And if I left, I'm not leaving, obviously. You're stuck with me for life. Um, but if I did leave, who would you have just to make the name correct? Because <laughs> you're not keeping the number one. <laughs> I mean, crude mistakes would, uh, yeah. would work, but you, you need a... Uh... A prefix there. So, yeah, what would be a good prefix? I mean, if you figure that out, then it will narrow down the people to ask. Yeah. And I mean, there is, and then maybe it's easier to rule out who it's not going to be like finger crude mistakes would work now, <laughs> would it? <laughs> uh, actually, it would be after Tim, Tim's comments the other week, it would have to be. <laughs> Crude shark mistakes, wouldn't it? <laughs> You'd have to have shark in it, wouldn't you? He he would like that, I think. Yeah, uh, Tim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think any of our guests could easily have stepped in. I think. Yeah, Turk crude mistakes works. Yeah, and I'm, not, I'm not thinking just the name, but I think all the get we have been blessed in the in the guest game. I think it's it's been a good yeah. it's been a good streak actually. So yeah, we, uh, no pressure, John. 
<laughs> yeah. 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 Say, that was the intro. Time. Uh, I made you. I made pressure on the intro, and then Glenn is like, "He's a really funny guy, so you have to be funny as well." And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and he's tall and handsome and smells good. <laughs> yeah, he has that lovely accent. No, that's gonna be great. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and this is what an awkward <laughs> silence looks like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nowadays, because I'm thinking, because let's talk logos when we're on to name, because you mentioned briefly here, Glenn, that you've been discussing like uh, doing a refresh of your logo uh, after yep. I threatened doing that to the podcast. Yeah. So uh, any news? Have you uh, had any ideas you want to pitch? I just... I, I like my logo. I just want it to look a little bit better. I don't know, a bit richer. And I don't know what I want, but um, it's really not my department. And uh, leaving that to professional admin Michelle to uh, <laughs> to uh, sort out for me. I just wondered if there was a, a program you could just put your existing logo into and it just pops out a better version of it. <laughs> That's, that's all I want. <laughs> I think that's called using a graphic designer. <laughs> yeah. I've, I'm thinking, I mean, for, for a one-off piece, I, I have been thinking about just looking up a few people at Fiverr and ask them yeah. Uh, yeah. and just pay for it. Um, of course, the, just... the AI image generated that I'm using, I have uploaded our logo and say that I want something similar, but you can choose, I mean, from zero to 80% uh, how lookalike it's going to be, but yeah. it's oof, it's never a good result. No. Whenever yeah. we try AI out here, it, I mean, obviously we don't pay for AI, but it, um, it's always just spelling mistakes and just stupid things. Yeah. If you look on our WhatsApp group, Michelle posted a birthday card created by AI tonight, and I think it said Furt birthday or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen. I've I've seen them and they look brilliant, but I haven't opened them individually because the uh, the clicking sound of my mouse would uh, ruin the recording. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean yeah. I'm not looking forward to a future where my job is just spell checking ai <laughs> i um <laughs> i got uh i'm not sure if i should take it as a good sign or not we we had a meeting at work and it was like a, a workshop meeting so people were uh, pitching ideas back and forth and i i just pulled up the the template for the moments of meetings and i, I just uh, I went to the Teams meeting and all right, here are all the participants, just copy paste all their names in and of course uh, putting in the date and location and then I just, just wrote down basically what people were talking about and then whenever people said something that, all right, we need to follow this up, I just put that as a point, uh, like an action point at the bottom. And at the end of the meeting, things were dying down a bit. So I actually opened up a team chat and I started writing, thank you guys for a good meeting and so on. And I, I summarized my thoughts here and you can find them. And then I made a link to the document and then I just let that window be open. So when people said like, yeah, thank you. See you next week. And people started locking off the meeting. I just pressed send. And before they had logged off, they got like, do do. Here is the uh, <laughs> moments of meeting and people like, did you use AI? Because that was too fast. And of course, I was just uh, sitting writing during the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> but that got me thinking, though, because I've been playing around with Udio. Um, and I Here haven't. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, hold on to your hats. Um, <laughs> no, um, I have. I tried to Google and finding out, but. If you're paying for it, will you then get the music in the individual tracks? Because, of course, I have produced a lot of rubbish, but there is a couple of songs that are decent. And I would like to have them as separate tracks because 
I can use the drum beat and so on, but I can remove the bass because I can play you know, the bass line myself. I can also do guitar on top. And of course, uh, and I think I can put the hell quarter on top of that. <laughs> so, but I haven't really figured out if you pay for a subscription, if they do give you the, the possibility of splitting the tracks into this different instruments. And of course I'm, I, I'm a bit conflicted about using it, but then again, I've been playing guitar uh, and bass on and off for myself in in my room, and uh, I mean it gets boring after a while just uh, playing scales or uh, putting on a blues backing track for uh, whatever guitar magazine you bought. I mean, it's really fun when you're playing with someone else and you can pitch an idea. I've been thinking about this. Uh, where you have some bass line and then you can have a bass player like try something something like this yeah that that sounds good and then uh the guy on the keyboard like all right maybe you could do this and and you're like playing with people and that's how you create music and i think of course ai would be just a tool in that you can you can use it as a as a band i mean you're just you're writing a prompt. I, I, I want a blues kind of music uh, with a ragtime feel and everything. And it, and it gives you 10 examples. And yeah, yeah, that is something that I'm looking for. And you, and you choose that one and you make it iterate on that and you put more prompts in. And it's basically like talking to your band without having a band. Yeah. So, I mean, it's, it's still going to be a tool. You need the people to make good music. I mean, I've, I've heard some of the versions that people have just put in, make a song about the finance or whatnot. And it's, it's hilarious, but music wise, it's crap. <laughs> so, yeah. so I, I think, don't think that will take over the music industry quite yet. I think if you want to make some original music with drums, bass guitar, guitar and your hell corder, and you want it to be original, I think I need to hook you up with Steve. Yeah. Together you could completely make that happen. So what what is uh, Steve doing the last week in October? <laughs> 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 he always wanted to go to Norway as a fishing trip, to be honest with yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, fishing trip, yeah. yeah we, have, uh, we have some ponds around here. <laughs> I'm guessing that, that weekend is fully booked. Yeah, but it would be cool to do something with... Um, you can do it all. Like, you, can do a, you can do it all online. You don't have to do it. You don't have to meet up to do things like that nowadays. Yeah, talking about that, we we really should mention of, more often that thank him for uh, the the intro music to the yes. boss. <laughs> um, do, does he have he have a social media presence? No. In any, no, no. Can, there's nothing <laughs> we can a, shout out, but yeah. just a personal Facebook page. Yeah. Yeah. No. We're, we're we're thankful. The same. Yeah, yeah, thank you for thank you for this intro and outro and also bad audios intro and outro. Mm. <laughs> All the music yeah. on most of the music on my YouTube videos. <laughs> it's nice having your own. Uh... <laughs> it's not AI, but it was uh... <laughs> actually the other day you posed the question. It would be nice to have a jingle for the WhatsApp. So I instantly said, "Yeah, it would." Message Steve. He's on it. <laughs> <laughs> He said, what, what What do you want? I said, you know, just five to ten seconds of awesomeness. It's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. No pressure, no pressure yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, it's, uh, oh, it's, not, it's nice just uh, to send a prompt to someone and they instantly get the idea. And yeah, yeah. you don't need to explain a single thing. Um, I'm on it. Yeah. And just delivers every time yeah that's, uh, that's, that's still amazing. really impressed with him for the uh the uh, fire extinguisher drumstick when he sent me some music i said oh, i could really do with something a bit more heavy metal than that and then he complained for a minute and then you know an hour later the heavy metal version just arrives <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's, that's great yeah. so then amazing. uh yeah when do we get to hear some uh, snippets of that one, do you think? Of what, the heavy metal strumstick? Yeah, I, I'm guessing our listeners would like to... Uh... Well, we'll put it on the video. It was on the video, at the end of the video. Yeah, okay. So okay. Go, <laughs> go check that out, yeah. yeah. And then, uh... I've got the studio recorded version as well, which I should have put on the end of the video, to be fair, because I didn't pick up the audio very well on it. 
put it on the end yeah. of this if you want. <laughs> Take the half bite out with it. I I really love those. Maybe we talked about it already, but where band put a bonus track in, like when they were like on CDs, they just put it in yeah. after like an hour of silence. And of course, you never noticed before you fell asleep listening to the CD and then just one hour into a very peaceful nap, there is like <laughs> and some heavy metal starting. And what the fuck was that? And oh, yeah, they, they, they hid some secret track at the end. Yeah, when you, when you rip the CD to a MP3, so you notice, why, the, why is this track 11 minutes long? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a hidden one. If you ever uploaded a YouTube video and forgot to chop the end of the music off? <laughs> no, I caught myself yeah. every time I've done something like that. I, yeah, I, managed I, it, I managed it for a 30 second reel once after I put it on a five minute song. <laughs> <laughs> so you got 30 minutes of the video and then there's just a blank screen and the music playing for another four and a, four and a half minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've come really close. Uh, and of course, it was on the old computer, which took forever uh, to render the video. Because sometimes I have several clips on the timeline, which I'm, I'm on the fence about. So I just uh, move them to the far, far right to give me enough room to move clips individually without that interfering. And then I'm forgetting it. And of course, this default setting for the when you're doing the rendering, it's all right, you want to render the whole timeline. And then it renders from the start of the first clip and until the end of the last clip. And then you forget that uh, 20 second B roll that you have now dragged two and a half hour to the right on the timeline just to get it out of the way. <laughs> and then, of course, you put the computer on the rendering and then you go up and you make dinner and you put the kids to bed or, or whatnot. And then you come down and it's like, Oh, it's still just 20%. Yeah. And you go to your workshop and then you spend an hour there and you come back all right, 37 and then you, you stay up awake because the computer is running so hot that you're uh, just uh, scared. <laughs> it will spontaneously combust. So you don't dare to go to bed. So at half past one in the, in the night it's finished and you just all right you're gonna watch it and like god damn it four and a half hours what is this and i'm like oh no i forgot that clip at the end so that means that i'm going to use a half day rendering tomorrow as well <laughs> so that's you talk about rendering and actually i've never known what you meant by it is this just down to using the editing software that you use that does this rendering thing because I, I don't understand what it is it's when you export it to a single file yeah oh okay that's for rendering Right, fair enough. <laughs> I just, I mean, I, I export mine just to a, a hard drive, and it uh, it does take some time for a longer video, but I never yeah. just never knew what it was. <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, it's exporting basically. Yeah, yeah. And I, I'm, there's now you learn something. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm now I'm really unsure if it actually says rendering or if it's just me who is stuck into uh, using old graphic software because then you were rendering, uh, but here you're just exporting. I mean, you're basically just compiling clips and exporting them. So, yeah. Yeah, it might be the not, but yeah, some, that's what you say at least. Yeah. You both seem unsure now. As, yeah. as long as we know what we're talking about. <laughs> because we and now do. I do. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's difficult. We, we, we have lear you have learned a new thing and we have gone, ba gone back on our word. And said, yeah. <laughs> now that we learned it, we're going to change it. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Tuesday. One year. One year. <laughs> I think we should probably just end it there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean this uh, episode, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, sure, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah okay. That's yeah. very Say nice that you like specified. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this, this, is, uh, this is not this kind of cult. I mean, that you please, please join the... <laughs> Please join the WhatsApp group. We're not going to give you cool later or anything. So. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, and you won't be alone there. I mean, how many members are there at the moment in the WhatsApp group that's been nagging us the entire <laughs> recording time, I feel? Uh, uh, 17. 17. Yeah. That's a healthy number. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice group. Yeah, really, I'm really glad we got that one started. And it's also not 100% overlap with the... Uh... Bad audio podcast. That's nice. So we have some uh, diversity going. That's nice. We do, have, we do have a few of the bad audio members in there. So yeah, we do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> not gonna lie, <laughs> but not all of them. Not the noisy ones. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit nicer. <laughs> yeah, the That's ones good. who take up space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh no, uh, no one is just taking up space. No, no, we love them. Um, and yeah, having WhatsApp up, um, we're getting some questions. When do you arrive? Should we come Friday or Saturday? And ideas for a hotel. So, uh, yeah, people are actually, uh, oh my god, ch checking when we are arriving and then asking if it's any point in uh, showing up early. And I, I'm saying the more the merrier. So, uh, yeah, Friday's gonna be a hoot. So uh, <laughs> I mean, if you if you come late on Friday, you you risk missing out. If any one of you out there are coming late on Friday, that's that's sad. But yeah, I've got a question. This, Rolf. of course, is Copper Festival, and we're talking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rolf said he was going to be our chauffeur, didn't he? <laughs> he did say that, didn't he? Yeah, didn't he say that? He did. Did he say that? I mean, I think he sent you a message, didn't he? So we have yeah, it black on white, yeah. or what is it? I mean, yeah. just laser that out. I've always <laughs> yeah. want... In stone. <laughs> I'm not expecting him to pick me up from the airport, but I've always wanted somebody to be stood there with my name on a board at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> just I to make me feel like, like I've arrived. Well, well... I always wanted to do that, like, welcome home from prison, Dad, or something <laughs> <Yeah>. like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. so many ideas so little time <laughs> I was in my garden early because I've just spotted that we've got 13 messages on that group it's a lot of happy birthdays that's nice ah nice yeah yay Oh, it's a lot of pictures from Michelle as well, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, this is the half pint, so I can start clicking on them. Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's not hard to picking myself out in these pictures. It's a. Uh... There was I... only it was the original one that uh, gave a little bit of confusion, wasn't it, KJ? Yeah. So we've obviously got a redhead on uh, the left. And then there's a grey man in the middle, and then there's a black-haired man with no <laughs> beard, which the no beard thing, which really confuses things. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking at one of them, and of course, it's, it's three guys, uh, different hair colors. Uh, <laughs> and on the one, it says Norwegian, and then it says Swedish. So yeah, <laughs> and that is Nukesh hair. <laughs> so it's like, oh, who's the Indian bloke? <laughs> <laughs> no, that. that... That's how you say English in England. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's one there is a... <laughs> okay, it's obviously me at the left, and it really made my uh, my hair uh, style at the time. But uh, in the middle, isn't that the, the, the Top Gear presenter in the new Top Gear? What's he called? Ed Harris? No, Ed. Oh, I don't remember. I don't even know his uh, name. No, you or is it George Michael? <laughs> In his early days, <laughs> I'm looking at the one with a bald KJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a bit weird. <laughs> oh, the one with the the one with the mixing table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I really like that one. It was, but uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't get the bald hair. It should have. A... Yeah, you want to see if I put this into the video or else check the Instagram. I guess they'll be there. I I, I kind of prefer the the second one in the series where. We look look a bit uh, reddish on the cheeks, and <laughs> that's a little saucier. Yes. The second <laughs> one, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eating mm. a cake with a can opener by the look of it. 
yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. And then, then you have the it's it's some very specialized tools on the back wall that I'm, I'm yeah I'm on the fence. So all right, what do you use that for? I want to know. <laughs> Yeah, great, great, great. These are these are nice. This is really good podcast content. Um, Just I'm commenting on pictures gonna, nobody sees. I'm hoping you're going to cut this bit out, KJ. No, no, no we're going to put the, to put the images uh, on the on the video. Oh, uh, okay. Genius. Or otherwise, as I said, go to the Instagram page and find. Yeah, we'll put it out on a, a reel or something. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, but I, I feel that we, we are middle-aged men and should celebrate our birthday by going to bed early because that's on brand. Absolutely. So thank you very much for listening to the Half Pint. Uh, and we'll catch you all uh, next week, not with a video, but with a guest. So yeah, that's all so, special. So thank you guys for sticking around for a year. And uh, yeah. yeah, thank you. Have a lovely evening. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>